Oh, totally. I love 58s. I grew up in a Corvette shop, so I'm all about them. <laughs> Is this yours? Italian job. That's what it makes me think of. Ooh, that nail head's a good looking engine. Sam Space 81 starting at the West Texas Roundup Friday morning, checking out some rides. They're going to be filled up today and tomorrow. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Man, that's a good looking color. Good looking little five window. New nail head engine looks killer. One of my favorite hot rod engines. Look how it fills it out. Three quadra jets on it for induction. Rochester's. Three quadra jets. And aluminum drums. Flathead V8, one of the best looking engines ever made. Got the Offenhauser heads. Great looking hot rod. 
Lovely.
fourth priority. Real deal wear. No, it's not fake. If anybody's wondering. Looks like original paint, I'd say. Beautiful. History on the window. Very cool. The ribbed roof. These old signs sure do add something to it. So many I've never seen. We're going to go through them, check them all out. Appreciate everybody watching Sam Space 81. We're just having a a leisure Friday. This is going to roll into all day Saturday. Checking out some rides. Lubbock, Texas, West Texas Roundup. Been wanting to go to this show here at the Cook's Garage for several years. Check out some signs. So that's what we're doing. How are y'all? You're getting a lot of pictures of this. I am. It's all I do. It's all you this do, is a beautiful right? car. Did you? Nice to meet you. Sir, too. 
I didn't mean to interrupt y'all. No, no, that's fine. We, I already told him that there is a story. I'm Sam. Sam, Sam Rex. Rex, it's yep. a pleasure to meet you. Uh, Let's hear it. Come up here up front here. If I'd, you feel like sharing it, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I don't mind telling it, I'll tell you. All right. <laughs> a guy that lived in Oh, Ohio, I hadn't seen this. Yes. A guy that lived in Ohio built this car. Okay. And that's what it was like when he bought it out of an ad in the newspaper. Oh, yeah, old. $885. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> then he painted it that color. That gold or the, the flame? And actually, painted it, actually, I think he painted it black. Oh, I see. There's okay. Black. See, there's a yes. Of black. Yes. I think he painted it black first. Then he painted the top candy apple red. And then he decided the whole thing should be candy apple red. So yes. He then he, you believe this, he took it to a show. He decided maybe he, he, will, he was president of his car club yes. in, what was it, 1980. The top was done in 79. See, it's chopped mm -hmm. two and a half inches, two and a quarter inches. Said if you chop it more than that, you run out of glass here in the corner. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's chopped four inches to me. Yeah, when it's rolling, it yeah. really looks low. Yeah, it does. And uh, so, uh, anyway, he was president of his car club that year, and I think he wanted a 50s car that kind of imitated a 32 Ford with louvers in the hood, yes. louvers in the trunk, and actually he had two rows of louvers down the top of the fender. Oh, that's wild. And, but the bad thing was if you drove on a wet street, you know, water Ooh. would come up through there. And anyway, it, the fender looks longer without him. And uh, so anyway, uh, he brought it to a guy in Wichita. His name was Eldon Titus, and he was just a young kid then, and that's him right there. Yes. And uh, but I said to the guy that I bought the car from, I said, "Do you know anything about it?" No, he said, "I just found it in a in a, a shop." Yeah. Uh, when I went to look at another car, and I liked it, so I decided I'd buy it instead. And the guy lived in Vermont or somewhere up there, and he said it was going to cost him too much to store it. He needed to sell it. So, uh, I've still got a nail head in it. Cool. Still has the nail head, yeah. And it, it does have fuel injection on it, though, oh. now. And uh, so he, he brought it, he said, so anyway, the reason I didn't know anything about it at all is because I took it to a show, and a guy came running across the grass, he said, "You need to be long. You need to be a member of the Buick Club of America." He yes. Said, you have a really awesome Buick there, but it was still like this when I when I was driving it then. Okay. Did it have the louvers in that shot on the yeah. fender? You, you can't really see it. I see a little bit. Yeah, I think. Yeah. See. So anyway, he uh, uh, I joined the Buick Club, and you get a magazine every month. Coming up into uh, seventy or uh, two, 2007, okay. the editor said, I'm going to feature one month with o or 57 Buicks because they're 50 years old. And he said, if you want to write a story about yours and send it to me, I might use it. I told my wife, that's the only chance we'll ever have to find out something about this car. Yeah, yeah. So I said, I have to write a good one. And by golly, he used it. And uh, at the end of the article, I said, now, if anybody knows anything about this, I'd like to hear from you. Sure. So uh, the magazine came out, the uh, edition came out in August. And the first week, we didn't hear anything. And the second week, we didn't hear anything. And I told her, well, we, we probably won't. And then the third week, I called from Florida. And he said, I built that car, but I lived in Ohio. And he said, I took it out to Wichita, Kansas, to a buddy of mine to chop the top. And I said, well, you're a car guy. You might have heard of Daryl Starbird. Sure. Yeah, I went to the show in February yeah, in Tulsa. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then there was Eldon Titus. The Titus brothers were kind of doing custom work. You go to the KKOA show? In, I have. You know, They're in, yeah, Salina. in Salina? Yes. Okay, it's Eldon's brother, Jerry, that does that show. He, okay. he owns that show. And uh, so uh, uh, 
anyway, uh, so I called Eldon right away and I said, Eldon, I, I have something I think you'd like to see. He said, can you bring it down? And uh, I said, sure, I'll bring it down. And, and uh, so we took it down there and I, we probably weren't in there 10 or 15 minutes and here he came on a golf cart. And uh, you can see he has a cast on him, some kind of a cast on his foot. Here. Yes. And, uh, so the, oh, that was in Salina. Yeah, that, that picture. Was in Salina, okay, yeah. got you. Picture was taken in yeah. Salina. So he uh, he said, oh, oh, he walked around it a couple times. Oh, he said, I remember this. So this is the first big job I did after my wife and I were married. Second wife. He said, I'd like to bring her back and have her see it. I said, sure. Uh, so he said, I'll be back in about an hour. And so about an hour here they came. He he was in the golf cart. But George Barris and his wife was in the golf golf cart, but George Barris was with him. And uh, wow. so I had a picture of George and Eldon and I, and, and I told my son that night, and uh, he said, oh, Dad, he said, you go to Walmart right away and get that photo, photo made, you know. And then he said, take it back tomorrow and, and have a George and Eldon autograph. Oh, wouldn't that be special? So... Did you make I, that happen? Did, yes. Oh, isn't that great? And actually, Eldon autographed it. Oh, even better. I didn't see it. And it was in black, and it's yeah. kind of fading out. You know, you can't almost can't see it, but it's in this corner. Cool. And uh, so. Uh, that's a good story. It's a good story. It is. It's a real good one. And uh, that's kind of an abbreviated version. But now that's, yeah, that's, that's a real good one.
seen this car on a Rama. That was cool. Fem did it now it's on a Rama.
awesome car. Your dad built this car. Built it. He was one hell of a body man. Wow. And, uh, and it's the car I drove to high school. Oh, man. It was my first car. Isn't that cool? So your dad built it, and you drove it, and this, was it blue back then? You no. drove this. I'd like to hear the story on it. Oh, yeah, you will. Yeah, let's hear it. Yes. Everything is leaded. He chops the top three and a half inches. Yes. Cut it down the middle of both directions. So it kept the same shape at the top of the lower. But most of them just lays the back pass in. Yeah, the proportions look great. And the, uh, he 
he, he made his own electric doors and trucks. Back then, they didn't have them. Mm -hmm. So what he done, this tailpipe was just as where the gas which is like a Cadillac. Yes. Lifts up the tailpipe. Yep. And then he took a button out of this one because that side only had a reflector. Yes. So he put another button here, and that's the button that's the electric trunk. Oh. He just opened the trunk. Well, that's that's before. Uh... Yeah. They, and then he was ahead of his time. The emblem come off of the '51 Ford dash. Yes. He put these on each little crowns. Side, and he made that that popper for the buttons. Boy, what so is the door. An engineer. And back then, they didn't have any poppers or electric. Uh -uh. So he made his own out of telephone ringers. Telephone That's ringers? how he made the electric. Wow. I mean, he was just so... What cool. a character. And then the teardrop knobs, that's the things back in yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, you know, your old hot rods. Yeah. Hot rod turn signals. But the paint and interior has been on, in this car for over 40 years. Oh, that's incredible. But it's not a lacquer finish. Uh, is, is it a lacquer finish? It lacquer. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's actually a 70 Chevelle or a Camaro paint. Original paint. Man, what's going on under the hood? Is it still got a... Oh, okay, so '53. That's the last year uh, of the flathead, and then they come out with the overhead valve. I was thinking yeah. about Ford. This had a flathead in it. Yes. It's got a 350 Chevy now, and the Cadillac breather. Mm-hmm. Kind of matched the, the bat wing. Cadillac stuff. Yes, beautiful. It's got 57 Cadillac head caps on it. It's got a '52 Dodge grill. I wouldn't have copped to that. He had to lead all this in, wrenched it, to make the grill fit down in. He made it look like it fit there yeah. naturally. He did all of that yeah. with lead. It's not he Bondo. Does, yeah. He does all that. Using wood tools and. Yeah, just, well, they melt lead. Yes. And done them. Shaking it. And it's got uh, Dodge bumpers on it, Dodge side trim. That's why I was going to ask about the center trim on yeah. it. That was the uh, it was Dodge, but Dad, when he first built it, yes, '53 yellow and white. Oh, I didn't see the old picture. I didn't pay attention. That's when he built it. Now that's what is that when you drove it to that's, high school? That's my dad. That's when he built the car in 1953. Yes. And then that was me at 16. We painted it green. Oh, okay. Hey, what a trophy. And then Kurt McCormick and then painted it blue. It's been a, it's in the Rex Smith's hardback library book. And it That's states cool. the only shoebox Ford to ever have a Cadillac tail light put on it. So it, it's got so much history. Man, what a neat car. Yeah. It, it just got a, Finally got it back. It's still I, in your family all this time. Oh, well, a, no, it was gone. Dad sold it in 75. It went up by St. Louis. Kurt McCormick is a custom hall of famer. Okay. He bought it. It was the first custom he bought. He had it 10 years. He's got more George Barris cars than anybody in the world. Oh, is it? Okay. I never heard of him. I didn't know who you were. Uh, I'll look him up. Kurt McCormick, yeah, you mean. He's got all the famous George Barris cars. Oh, neat. And uh, he didn't want to didn't sell this, but he had too many, and he said they always want something you don't want to sell. He sold it to the right person. And so he, everybody has had it in, showed it, you know, it's been took care of. And it's just, uh, it's, it's just crazy. Yeah. Man, that's just a problem. Well, yes. We took pictures. Oh, cool. I don't know what that ranch looks like. I want to.
about it and we've been working on it and still got a lot of stuff to do to it but yeah but it's cool it is cool glad you were able to hold on to it me too was he in real uh, into it? Was this his baby my or oh, one yeah. of many? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it sat in a park. It sat in a barn for probably 20 years, parked, and then my mom actually had it repainted and stuff for him. Oh, cool! And had it all like, and it sat for another. And it sat for another 25 yeah. years, and he just didn't want to get it out. He was too afraid something would happen to it, and I'm like, well, it's no fun if you don't do something with it. Yeah, well, I'm so glad you're so, able to enjoy it. Y'all yeah. are out here. My boys love it. Good. Yeah. I see it. It hooks up there like a Jeep when you want it to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks good under there. It's clean. Firewall's good and clean. It's, it's been a work in progress. Boy. It's not a rusty scout. I mean, she's no. real solid, man. No, there was no... There were two little places that weren't bad. That were yeah. Bad. Look how solid. This is... He took care of it. I mean, it wasn't uh, to be driven in Colorado. Yeah, yeah. He washed it and stuff when he did drive it. I mean, he, he, had, he put a rack on the top, and this is what they all went hunting. Oh, cool. That's one of my dreams. I've never been hunting in Colorado. Fun. Did y'all have an overhaul the engine? The engine has not been fully overhauled we worked on it it has not been it, it's, it's if it doesn't need it i wouldn't worry yeah. about it yeah yeah brass radiator that's cool thank you you know how they say smells like when you're a kid yes the smell of it still like when i smell it still smells like our garage when i was a little kid oh doesn't that just take you to a good <laughs> yeah. place yeah i love it Then what happened to the top and all like yeah i don't want to have to redo any of that as and long as i can
Huh. I mean, you know, yes. Just everything the, else has been changed. Just the old cab. I like the upholstery, how you went with a two-tone. Yeah. Looks good. Updated gauges. Oh, yeah. I like the bed cover, too. Yeah, you don't see very many of those. Uh-uh. I only know of one of did, them. Did you have that custom made, the cover? Yeah. Come out of California. I want to see how it fits on there. It looks like it'll lay down on yeah, there. It, co it covers it actually. I've never seen one on one of these. Oh, yeah. Looks good on there. Yeah. <laughs> Got to get a shot of that, too. All right. Thank you.
I like to get them rolling. And uh, so they ought to be here just any minute. Good. Are y'all coming out tomorrow? Oh yeah. Good. It's supposed to be windy tomorrow. Yeah. They won't bad. stop me. I forget what part of the country I'm in. They were talking about the wind. It gets real windy out here. Something you'll see in Texas towns, old towns of red bricks.
I love the bridge.
I like that shirt, man. I appreciate it. Picture of this car. Hey, how did you pick your car with? I got lots of pictures. over tomorrow afternoon after he goes to the car show he's gonna come over and we're gonna get rid of that cherry tree out of our backyard chainsaw or what yeah chainsaw. i got a chainsaw but last time i tried to fire it up i couldn't get it to crank so how'd you like that chick people getting free wood they ain't bashful about bringing their own chainsaw and trailer Hey, if you used the cameras yeah. on there, it would be different. He done, he done used all right. See, I use video. So we're gonna go off the beaten path a little bit. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm having a blast. I appreciate it.
always wear it. You wear one in your car, right? I do. I always wear my seatbelt. pass away and not get to enjoy it? I'm sure it? he did. He yeah. bought it new. Oh, wow. Yeah, he bought it new back in the day. Of course, it was a different car. Had to trade it hands many times. That's that's a long history, 90 years. Yeah, yeah. I'm the third owner. Casper, Waterford, Wisconsin. or is the car's name Rosie? You know, I don't know. I just That's a good question. Today yeah. Mike's garage. So I gotta ask her. I'm sure the car's
Essex. That's nice. That's like it's supposed to be. Look at that old truck. 59, just like it's supposed to be. That stove bolt six. License plate topper. Never seen one of those. That's a doll there. You got the right seat in it. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's an old minnow bucket taking me back. Growing up with my grandpa. Mm.
scary. Yeah, it is. And that's what I say. That is cute, huh? That chubby one. That's a 58 Ford. <laughs> I don't know. Get that out of my way. Look at that bird. That's a point. Beautiful.
Hey, thanks for bringing it out, man. I love my lays. You don't see as many of them, you know, with the right motor in them.
How far is that? to wrap it up the plane truck okay Thank you.